Xenophone Media Independence Challenge. Are you ready? Hi, Ghana. This is Solomon Boche. But anytime I'm on the microphone, you call me Solo Hits on the mic. I'm the world's youngest sensational, inspirational, international, motivational speaker, singer, leader, and poet. Call me the lyrical, rhythmical, empirical, satirical, comical, and musical poet. Solo hits on the mic. I do motivational speaking, spoken word, and a little bit of music. And I'm also a relationship coach. We run relationship vitamins. So that's a little bit about me. I'm a bit of everything that has to do with being in front of the camera and using the microphone. That's why Solo Hits on the mic is my name. Okay, basically I was coming to Xylophone to promote my latest song um, called Go Go Gaga. It's a gospel drama song. It's, it's something I made to take Ghanaians back to the high school days, the drama times you go to Intaco, but this time it's a gospel drama. It's a danceable team which I just released. So I was coming around to the Xylophone uh, media house and also to the radio station then. I got to know that there's an ongoing challenge. It was barely almost over and I just said, oh, what's, what's, there's no harm in trying. Let me try something. I'm not prepared. I've not specifically done something for this. But I have a piece that talks about Nkrumah and the history of Ghana and our independence and our fight for freedom and everything. And everything. So I submitted it, even though it wasn't for the project. I submitted it. And I love the message because it was inspired by Mrs. Lucy Eni, the first female black parliamentarian in the whole of Africa. She told that was Africa and the beauty of it. So I, I got my inspiration from there. And I wrote this piece called Nkrumah, the best gift to Africa and Ghana. So I was asking one question in that, who killed Nkrumah, why? Because Nkrumah had a seven year developmental plan for Africa. If we had allowed him to live his full life, Africa and Ghana would have been better. Look at Nelson Mandela, he lived his full life. South Africa is so wonderful. If Ghana had allowed Nkrumah to live his full life, even though he had his bad and ups and downs, but his good was more than his bad. So that was the piece I put together. On Sunday's day, I listened to the history of Africa and the history of my motherland, Ghana, your beloved country. From the first black female African parliamentarian during the era of a for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, what I heard and what I learned made me sit down on my chair to take out my poetic pen and to write this spoken word piece, Who Killed Dr. Kwame Nkrumah? Africa is indeed a great continent and Ghana is indeed a blessed country for a man like Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to be born on the shores of Africa.